All right, y'all, it's AGP here, and it's Sunday, so you know it's time for another AGP video. <laughs> okay, really, that's really a Friday. This video was supposed to came out Friday. As y'all can see from the title, this is about Ghost of Tsushima, which y'all know comes out July 17th. I'm going to give y'all some info on the skill trees, as well as how it kind of compares to Assassin's Creed and how it may or could possibly be considered the Assassin's Creed game that we never got, that we always kind of wanted when it comes to the samurai era and Japan and having an assassin there. Ubisoft might still do that later, they probably will, but right now Sucker Punch beat them to it. Jin Sakai obviously is the main character in Ghost of Tsushima. He's supposed to be a samurai or was trained as a samurai by his mentor. Apparently the game starts out with it being kind of like Assassin's Creed where Jin has decided or has at least played with the idea of abandoning his warrior code to defeat the Mongol invaders by any means necessary. Now if y'all remember the first mission in Assassin's Creed, Altair abandoned the, the creed, the Assassin's Creed code by killing an innocent person just because they were in the way. The creed consists of three tenets. First, never hurt an innocent person. <laughs> Quite honestly, it seems like Jin's situation is a little more honorable because you're just like, we're all getting killed out here by these Mongols. I need to take them out however I can take them out. Whereas Altair was kind of just like, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to complete the mission and quickly. Now the way you gain skills or equip skills in Ghost of Shima will be a little bit different than in Assassin's Creed because there are two skill trees. One is a samurai skill tree that deals with face-to-face -face sword fighting, and the other skill tree is a ghost skill tree that deals with stealth and assassination. Some of the similarities with Assassin's Creed with that would be things like the air assassination that you see in the trailer for Jin where you saw him do that to somebody that he was fighting in one of the camps. That looks very Assassin's Creed-ish, but the having two skill trees is not reminiscent of Assassin's Creed, and there wasn't that many upgrades to the skill tree that you had in Assassin's Creed until the later games. Now the way that these skill trees are integrated into the game does kind of parallel Assassin's Creed as well because in the beginning of the first Assassin's Creed, if you guys don't remember, you actually, your first mission you carry out as Altair at his master assassin level or rank with all the weapons he has. You don't really use them, you don't really know how to use them like that because it's all of like a few minutes that first <laughs> first mission. But you are at your master level rank and then once you lose Ro Robert de Sable after you try to fight him but you lose that fight and you kill that civilian you go back at, to Messiah and he gets stripped of his ranking and all of his weapons and as you play through the missions and make your assassinations you get your rank back along with upgrades and the weapons. So apparently it'll be something like that for Jin in Ghost of Tsushima. Ghost of Tsushima encourages players to switch between being a ghost and being a samurai depending on the mission specifics and your own preferences of course. In Ghost of Tsushima Jin finds himself at a crossroads between deciding whether or not to be fighting more on the ghost side and taking down the Mongols by any means necessary and almost being as brutal as they have been with the people or being an honorable samurai like he had been taught since the time he was little. Now of course that's cool because you can decide to fight as a samurai or a ghost pretty much in any mission from what it sounds like but there is a catch and that is obviously there's a day and night cycle and apparently some missions will be carried out better as a ghost at night than a samurai face to face now you assume it would be things like camps like you see in the trailer where you might be trying to take out everybody it's probably better to do the sneaking and assassination with the stealth gameplay than just walking in there and trying to fight everybody but of course it'll be completely up to you but the game also tries to encourage players to change them throughout the day and night cycle anyways because what's very interesting about Ghost of Tsushima that you didn't really see in many other games at least not that I've played is that the samurai Jin Sakai is very respected by all the villagers and all the people in the world all the NPCs whereas the ghosts would create panic if they see the ghost version of Jin walking around during the day. I thought that was really interesting because, you know, you don't really see stuff like that that often. Now, what is also cool about Ghost of Tsushima's fighting styles, the two fighting styles that you'll be switching between pretty frequently, is one is a more defensive style, and that is the samurai style, and one is a more offensive style in the ghost style, which is pretty cool. You don't really see that often either in games. So the ghost skill tree also involves abilities improving 
Jin's alchemy. So in other words, creating poison and smoke bombs. I don't know that you won't be able to use those as a samurai, but it seems like they're going to be more of an instrument for the ghost side of Jin. And for that, we didn't really see that in Assassin's Creed until Revelations, where you could create a bunch of different bombs. And when they did make that system, it was pretty cool. And they gave you a variety and they all worked out really well. And you did choose which ones you were going to create for what mission. It also obviously creates some cool parkour aspects because there's a graphic grappling hook and it causes Jin to be able to climb faster or leap over structures faster with the grappling hook is what it seems like. We saw that in the gameplay and we didn't get anything like that until Assassin's Creed Syndicate when it comes to that series. So that is pretty dope. But yeah, so that's all I really wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about today. Obviously, I'm extremely excited. You've seen all the videos that I, I've put up about it. If you haven't, you should go check them all out. You know your boy has already pre-ordered this and Last of Us Part 2 to be ready for it when it's time. So in the next couple of months, we will be having a lot of cool and fun stuff on this channel. But just as gamers, just a lot of cool and fun stuff. And you can see the parallels between Ghost of Tsushima and Assassin's Creed, almost looking at it as an even more improved Assassin's Creed that from earlier on, whereas at the time, you know, that Assassin's Creed version was dope. But now it's like, we're going to give you something that's close to that, but improved in whatever areas it may have lacked in. But I'm going to catch y'all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all later, all right? Peace.